Hi everybody, today we're going to look at how you can change the look and feel of your page by adding background colors to your page content. And so you can take regular content that looks like this with some copy and some pictures and then you can make it look like this. It doesn't drastically change the content of the page necessarily. I still have an H3, I have some text here, I have a picture floating off to the right, but it allows me to add just a little bit of customization, just a little bit of individuality so that I can change the color schemes of my page. I'll be honest, sometimes I just get tired of looking at black text on a white background. Just black and white, I just wanna mix it up a little bit. And so let's look at how we got to this point right here. What we're gonna be doing is exploring a little bit of HTML and a little bit of CSS. So let's go ahead and edit this page and let's look at the content. What do we have so far on the page? So right here is a header three, of course I have my page title right here. And then I have a few paragraphs of regular text. Now, if you don't know about how to float the image to the right, I actually have dedicated videos entirely to images and how you can manipulate images on your page. But to see how I did that, we really have to go into the HTML editor and you can see my H3, so that's my header three. I have some paragraphs of text down here. And then what I'm looking at is an image and so I have the image, I uploaded it to Canvas, I added a little bit of style. So what it is is style equals quotation mark, and I float it to the right, and then I gave it a margin to the left and to the bottom of 20 pixels. And that's it, the rest of this code is just whatever in structure, whatever Canvas gives us when you upload an image. Now I can't remember how big the image was, but I did want it to be 350 pixels wide. And you can just do that in the rich content editor by going to the image options, and then you can put in however wide you want that picture to be. And of course I'd want some better alt text as well, or you could mark it as decorative. All right, so those are the basic components right here. Now I want to add some color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a div. A div is an HTML element. I'm gonna put a div at the beginning and a div at the very end and then you can color in the div. The div isn't really anything, it's just whatever you specify it to be. And so for this being before the text and after the text, that means that everything in between is going to be affected by whatever I do. And in this case, I'm going to style the background. I'm gonna write in style, and I'm gonna put in a color right here, and I'll walk you through in just one moment how to find specific colors that you want or how to get inspiration for colors. And if I save this, let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So for now it's okay, I can see that there's some background color here, but I can also see that the words go right up against the edge and I don't really like that. And there's not much room at the top and you know to the right of the image. And so I want to put a little bit of space. I don't want these words to go right up against the edge there. So let's go back to the edit and with just a little bit of CSS, you can actually fix that issue. And so what I'm gonna do is right here in the style, this is the CSS, and I'm saying, um, now every time you have a bit of property for CSS, you separate it by a semicolon. So after that semicolon, I'm going to put something else in and I'm gonna put padding. I want 25 pixels of padding, not 225. I just want 25 pixels of padding and I'll go ahead and save that. And then you can see what that did is, you can see the edge of the div right here. Everything that's colored is the div. And then you can see that it put a little bit of space between the edge of the div and the beginning of the words. And so I like that. I like about 25 pixels of padding. Now, if you were to put margin, sometimes you've seen margin, sometimes you see padding. Margin would be putting space on the outside of the div instead of the inside of the div. And in this case, I want the space to be on the inside. And if you remember on the other page, I had some color for um, this, this header three right here as well. And so if I go to edit and we hop back over to the HTML editor, you can add this style, background colors, to any element on here. So in this case, I'm gonna to go to this H3, and I'm gonna add a background color that's different than the background color for the div, and as well as color for the text. And I'll go ahead and click Save, and we'll see what that does. So that's not too bad, it gives it a little bit of contrast. So I have a dark background, and then I have light text on top of the dark background. And of course, the same issue as what I had with the div, I want a little bit of padding in there, and in this case, I also want there to be a little bit of space between this header three and the image and the text down there. So let's go see how we would do that. The padding is going to be exactly the same as we did up here. In fact, I can just copy and paste. So I have this padding, 25 pixels. Let's just do that for this element as well. And then I'll add something new, which is a margin at the bottom. 
of uh, maybe 20 pixels. So let's see the contrast there. All right, here we can see a little bit of padding so that the text doesn't go right up against the edges of the H3 element. And then you can see that margin just pushed everything down a tiny bit. And so here I have my custom page. Now I happen to know what colors I want, but if you want some inspiration for colors, there's lots of websites and I've had other videos that talk about where to find color schemes for your canvas pages. One of my favorites here is called coolers.co. You can go to generate and let's just see what it comes up. I'm going to spin the wheel a few times and pressing spacebar. And here's something interesting. So this is called light slate gray and I can copy that and I can also see different variations. So let's try this for the div for the, the page div. Let's get something a little bit lighter. Yeah, maybe something like that. So I'm going to copy the hex and I'm going to come over here. I'm going to edit this and go to the HTML editor again. And let's replace this background color with the color that I just copied over. And let's find a different background color for the header as well, that H3. Maybe even something like this. I could get maybe something dark just to put some contrast. So I'll go ahead and copy that. I don't know if this is going to look great, but just as an example. So here's my new background color. And let's get a foreground color as well. This honeydew is actually, that's a pretty good foreground color. Maybe I could go for a shade lighter. Let's see what that looks like. So let's copy that hex. And so the color referring to the color of the text, I'm going to change that property and let's save, see if it looks good. It does not look good. So we can go back and we can try different color schemes. Maybe this background could be a little bit lighter to be honest. So let's, uh, let's try something really light. So it's just off white Gainsborough. Yeah. So let's replace this with Gainsborough. I'm actually thinking that this might be a good color for um, the header. And so let's replace that and then let's copy the Gainsborough and see where we're at. Yeah, we're almost there. Let's just find a dark font for this one. This is a light green. And so let's take Gainsborough and let's find a darker shade, something like this for the font color. And I think we're almost there. That's kind of classy. That I like that. So we're going to paste that and save it. There you go. I think that's better. That's That's something interesting. That's a lot better to look at. I think than just black text on a white background. Let's put some color in there. Let's style it up a little bit. And so before we check out, let's go ahead and edit this one more time just to see what we're looking at. Now, normally what this would look like if I were to copy this and paste it down here without the style. So this is what the page would look like normally. I would have an H3, I would have an image, I would have some paragraphs. Now I did put at, below the last paragraph, I put some style and I put margin bottom 25 pixel just because I like there to be a little bit of space at the bottom of the page. And so then the changes that we made then would be we put a div at the beginning and at the end of everything and we made a background color and we put a, a color and some padding. The padding makes it so the words don't go right up against the edge. And then I took that H3 and I made a unique background color and I recolored the font as well. I put in a little bit of padding and I put in some margin at the bottom there. And you can do this, you can style individual paragraphs if you wanted to as well. If I were to go ahead and copy this, you know, let's do that real quick for this paragraph right here. Suppose I want there to be some kind of, you know, header, some kind of styling just for that one. And I wanted it to be, oh, I don't know. Let's um, hit spacebar again. Maybe I want it to be this um, bow blue. And so I'm going to copy that color, put a hashtag and the color. And I'm also going to copy the padding over here. I want to make sure that this has padding as well and save that. And we'll give it a look. All right. In this case, it goes since this image is floating on top of everything over here, then it goes behind there. But you can see, I don't really like that. I'd probably take that away, but you could alternate paragraphs. You can put some dark background between every other paragraph if you wanted. In this case, let's go to the version history. I'm going to revise it to, yeah, restore this revision here. And I think that page generally looks good. And so that's how you can use HTML and CSS to dress up your pages and put some background color. If you like this tip, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check out the website howtocanvas.com for more tutorials and write-ups. And I'll see you next week. Happy Disney morning!